morning what is up guys uh we're here for round three of the lo206 speedy challenge orlando kart center well we're technically at ruben's place seniors in daytona uh we practiced yesterday the goal is to come back check out truck meet uh that did not go as planned because we fell asleep and took a long nap like a five hour nap I got up for like maybe 30 minutes to eat something went right back to bed <laughs> so I'm well rested uh, I hope because today we have a long day hopefully the rain holds off for a little bit uh, it's supposed to rain probably by our finals but if it can stay dry all day that'll be great but thanks for stopping by uh, hit the subscribe button hit the like button hope you guys enjoy this video remember catch you guys on track we made it to practice <laughs> to Orlando Kart Center. Uh, we're all getting ready. They're getting new tires on, popped them on. I got mine on yesterday. Uh, Rubens Senior had like one round on his other tires, so he's going to give them. He gave them to me. Those are my SSKC tires because if you guys don't know it's like an hour and a half of track time today so these tires are going to get eat up pretty well now i just flip them and run these for the next local race it's going to be a busy month for us we have sskc at the end of the month we have the answer local next weekend so it's going to be pretty busy a lot of track time it's going to be fun can't wait well, practice one out of the books first and only practice uh, ended up P1, but I don't think all the heavy guys made out for that practice session. Uh, Chris was P2, he's racing the, like, the heavy master class. Uh, senior was like P4 in class. Then we have Tillerson and Speedy's running. And I don't know for Senior Junior, because Junior's cart's on the ground with no tires. It's a bold move, but I don't know how, how this is going to work. Um, to be honest, I really I really don't know what type of strategy they're pulling here. L206 medium, this is your five minute warning. We'll see L206 if this works. L206 medium, five minutes. It will go quick. And there's no one Gordon. I feel bad picking up like 100 pounds of lead. First big yeah. leg. So let's see how they do. Should be a good race in the light class. So here we are for qualifying. Um, I was trying to get a really good lap down, but I kept making mistakes and the track was not as fast as it was the day before. I really wanted to make a gear change, but I decided not to. I thought the track would come around. So this lap really helped me out. Uh, I was getting a tow around by two guys in front of me. Um, I hadn't put a good lap together, but then I started closing really quickly. So I was hoping they weren't going to slow me down. Uh, but it actually worked out perfectly because I just got a, they got I just got a good draft the whole way down through the whole lap. Uh, cart was handling really well. Uh, just the gearing, I was off by a little bit. Um, but I thought the track was going to start coming around. It just never did today. You know, this track's really weird. Some weekends it's really really fast, and other weekends it's uh, it's kind of slow. Um, for us, we were basically a second and a half of what we usually run uh, when the track is uh, is good. So uh, it was a little different. Um, it was just slow, but got a good tow, pushed 820 across the line, had a really good run, and up P1. So uh, good run in the end. Uh, very happy for sure. Well, qualifying in the books, uh, P1 and heavy. And then right behind me was uh, Senior and Chris, but they're in the heavy master class, which is different. It's like 45 and over and big guys. I mean, just in the regular big guy class. And then I think it was Noah, then Junior, and then Miguel P5. Miguel's having some motor issues. Just got a new block from Briggs. And it sounds very, very metallic-y. <laughs> so uh, hopefully took our advice we do have two spare motors here just in case uh, hopefully puts one of those on and picks up the second that he needs but 
Chris is super happy. He's even got the GoPro. So, should be fun. We're gonna fix Fernando's chain. I might do a gear change. Uh, not very happy with uh, where I'm on the limiter. The track's not as fast as it was yesterday. So, we're making some adjustments. Hopefully, it picks up some speed. Man, it's hot. We still got two 20 minute sessions and a 35 minute final. We got uh, Fernando's chains fix. Uh, definitely should be a good race. Yeah, manual labor. So uh, high. Uh, hope I don't start cramping. It's a good warm up for Anderson because Anderson will be stupid high. So, should be, should be much better. The cart. I wanted to do a gear chain, but I didn't, I didn't have time. So I might do it next race. I might not. We'll see how it goes. And then uh, for sure. Yeah, I'm out of breath, guys. Oh, we're up. Hopefully it's a good race. Fernando looks happy. I'm always happy. All right, guys. So heat one about to begin. F1 style start, all red lights go on. When they go out, you go. Uh, due to gearing, uh, Senior and Fernando had a gearing, a more for bottom end. I had a gear for more top speed, so they got way better than me. Um, I get around Fernando here, coming into turn four. He put points, lets me go. Uh, that was very nice of him. He didn't have to do that. <laughs> I was just giving him a little push, a little shove, letting him know that was there. And then it took me a while to catch uh, Senior. Uh, Senior hasn't been showing up on Sundays. He definitely drives faster than me on Saturday. For, for some reason, race day, he hasn't been showing up. And then they moved from the heavy class, that heavy master's class, just to the heavy class to race against me. And uh, they were quicker than me, so it was not an easy race. It took me a couple laps to, uh, to chase him back down. Chris had a little incident in turn four. But at the end, when we did the statistics and saw the lap times, he was running lap times right up there with us as well. So if he was, if he wouldn't have that instant, he would be right there in the mix. So it definitely took me a while to uh, catch Senior. And then basically I was trying to see where I could set him up to make a pass or where he was going to, you know, make a mistake like on a Saturday practice. But he wasn't making many mistakes at all. So I had to be patient, buy my time, pick a place. Uh, you guys know I like making passes in turn four. Uh, so that would be the next move if I can get through one and two. Uh, his cart was doing better through one and two, or he was just out driving me in one and two. But, uh, you know, I was just trying to set him up, make sure that he would just make a mistake because I had to get a better run at a one and two going into four. That was the hardest part. Um, but I was going to see where I can make a move. He was just, just, you know, just driving. And then that gear with a little bit better bottom end, he was just able to stay ahead of me. Uh, I was thinking about making a move there, but I didn't have enough chance. I didn't want to chance it. So I was going to see out of this hairpin if he would make a mistake so I can get by him. But he was driving his ass off for sure. It was a really good run. Um, he does make a mistake. It's the cart a little sideways. And then I get beside him. He looks over. We could have gone two by two, uh, but he lets me go through. And basically that was not the end of the race. Uh, I led the rest of the way, but... Uh, coming up soon, he does go in for a move, and it caught me off guard. I thought I had broken a gap, and there was no gap. So we're coming up to a white flag. Um, I th I looked back, and I had a pretty decent gap. But then, like I said, through one and two, he was, you know, getting better. I, I check over my shoulder again. I take the normal racing line through four. Uh, so I was like, okay, you know, I'm, I was thinking about maybe a little defensive here yet, but no. I still saw that I had a little gap. Um, it just caught me out of nowhere. He just must have had a really good drive after this kink going to short shoot straight away because really I did not expect him to make a move or go this deep into the brakes uh, coming up to his last hairpin. So it definitely caught me off guard. Uh, when I saw him fly by me, I knew I could cross him up and that was going to be the end of the race, but it really caught me off guard. He did a good move. He went deep. Uh, I let him go by me, and then I just took the regular racing line, and I was able to hold him off. But that was a really good job by him and Chris. Uh, they were have gotten way faster, have improved a lot in Orlando, and uh, they kept me on my toes. I'm glad they switched classes because 
it made it a really good race in between us. Uh, so P1, but it wasn't easy for sure. Woo, hot day. Heat one in the books. 20 minutes is a long time on track. Uh, good close race between me and Senior the whole way. Uh, Chris had a little incident, so he's gonna start in front of us this time. Hopefully it doesn't take out the whole field. Chris, just make it to turn one. Well, actually he made it up to turn four and then wrecked, so. He finished P3 still in the end. Uh, I'm gonna do a couple changes just to try some things out, see if it works. If they don't work out, then I just go back to where I was for the pre-final, so. Let's see how it goes. Light's about to go up. Now heat two Chris is in front of us and I put a little fuel line in between my throttle cable and my uh, where it goes into the, the frame because sometimes if you don't that cable will pop out and get stuck wide open and basically that's what happens uh, Chris was revving up the engine to get going and his throttle got stuck wide open and <laughs> man that he nailed the back of that guy I felt so bad for the Margate driver I was like holy crap I'm glad he's wearing a neck brace because I thought Chris almost broke his freaking neck uh, but yeah that's a little tidbit where the throttle cable goes into the uh, the frame in the front, put a piece of fuel line to keep the throttle cable in place because if it does pop out, uh, it could hang your throttle up wide open. So definitely that and put a filter on your fuel line because uh, junk gets into your carb all the time. I learned that the hard way up at Charlotte. So now I have a fuel line filter and then, you know, from there on. Uh, Senior was not having a good time in that hairpin. He makes a slight move. And then Chris, I was telling you, Chris was fast. Like, it was not a joke. He has been, you know, working his butt off and he, and he was fast. And it took me a while to get past him and to get up to him. So it was not an easy race. It took me about eight or nine laps to finally pick a place of where I, I could go. You just gotta keep the pressure on. If you keep the pressure on, it's really hard to lead. And, you know, slight mistakes may happen. I do it all the time. Uh, cart might get a little sideways. Uh, I don't get that good of a run out of a turn. Uh, I make a slight mistake. You know, these are all things that happen throughout the run. Uh, and then you have to study your opponent because there are some section of tracks I was faster, and there's other sections of track that I just could not, you know, I could not get around them. Uh, here, I wanted to make a gear change. Um, but I just didn't have enough time, so I was still running that gear. Uh, I, for the finals, I definitely made the gear change. But I get up on the inside of turn four. I was able to make a move, and from there on, uh, Senior was right behind me. So he was able to get by Chris as well. Uh, Senior was just analyzing both of us. So it wasn't an easy race by any means. Uh, I was able to get a decent gap this time, so I didn't have to worry that much. But seeing how fast those two were i knew the finals i had a fight in my hand because they were not going to make it easy for sure uh tv carts were rolling I, I mean it's crazy how fast the cart has been uh but the two guys behind me have been working their butt off and they're chasing the carrot and i was actually kind of worried about <laughs> which one was going to beat me this race uh but you know i was able to hold off for heat two p1 uh, we were trying to beat the rain, so we used Andre to cut down our finals to 20 minutes. Plus, we were really tired. So here we go for the finals. Uh, I decided to take off a little slower. You know, I don't want to burn up the clutch or anything. So I just ease into it. When I feel the clutch grab, then I give it full beans again. Uh, Fernando and uh, Rubens get a really good start. And then I was coming through real quick. I uh, was about to run to the back, Fernando, but... I did it, and then I went on the inside of turn four hard. Uh, I was kind of worried I did not want Senior to get away from me too far because it took me a long time to get by him last time, and it took me a while to catch up. And looking at lap times, uh, I had not been the fastest at any of the heat races. Uh, I've been a tenth or two slower, so uh, really I was seeing if I could just reel him in, and then I was going to make the move right away. I was not going to wait around. Uh, seeing if he was going to make a, make a mistake or not. I was going to make take the move, take the lead, and run with it, uh, or try to, because I was worried about Chris and Senior. And then Chris was actually right behind me, and I was hoping Chris would give me a push up. I was like, come on, man, we got we to catch him. And I know it's like the beginning of the race, but you know, I was like, let's go. Uh, I don't want to 
I don't want to be screwing around, man. I want to I want to catch him and pass him because I I know if I don't get around him early, it's going to be hard to you know get around him in the end. So I was actually banking on Chris to to give me a little push from behind. So. Uh, but he didn't want to get too close. He was just watching me and didn't want to really push me up. So I had to drag my way up to him. And then I make a move where I usually don't make moves. So that's how, you know, that's how I wanted. To, that's how bad I wanted to get by him and, you know, dictate the pace. And plus, I I like being out front. Um, I like dictating the pace of the race. And uh, if I usually qualify well, I try to get to the front quickly. Right here, I just shove it in there and do a little slide job, and I was able to hold off. But um, I did not run away. They showed their nose a couple times. Um, they were playing it safe. They had plenty of opportunities to make a pass. Um, they just didn't force it. And here, you know, coming up to the turn, he was eating me up one and two. So... I did not expect this pass either, but he ate me up in one and two, and he goes into it for four. So he makes a move. Uh, I slide down. I pinch him a little bit for turn five. I kept him close, but he, you know, elbows out. Uh, then I was trying to do a crossover move as well, and I was thinking about trying to stick it around the outside, but I just could not stick it that hard around the outside, and he got by me again. I was like, holy crap. Uh, I have a fight in my hands, and uh, it really... You know, it was a really good practice. It was a really good race between all three of us because uh, Senior made the move, but Chris was right behind me. So it wasn't like he was, I was getting away from him either. Um, that turn he was struggling on, so I knew I could I could probably make a move there. Uh, but if I was going to make the pass anywhere, you guys know it would have to be turn four. Um, that's just my favorite passing zone. Uh, I was just thinking to myself, I have to get through turn one and two better. Uh, for some reason, I have to work on my one and two driving because that's where they were eating me up when uh, when they were behind me. So right here, I got a really good run out of two. And I was like, if I'm within two or three carts or if I'm this close, I'm going to send it in. Uh, there is no stopping me if I'm that close. Uh, I'm just going to send it in and hope and pray. And I had to do some defending for turn five. So really, it wasn't an easy race. Coming up to the white flag... Uh, they were still chomping my bits. Actually, Cena was on my inside, and I thought he was going to make the pass, but he ran out of gear. So here I was seeing how close I was. Uh, he was, so I kept looking over my shoulder. Uh, I was kind of worried he was going to make a move here, but he didn't. And then I thought to myself, the only other place is uh, the hairpin. I think that's turn 10 that he was going to try to make a move again. So I had to concentrate, focus, you know, actually defend without blocking because once you make a move, you stay there you got to eat it up so i like to park the car somewhere in the middle um but I, I i start you know creeping down to the inside a little bit i look over my shoulder i see I have enough space um i i knew i had a little bit of a gap so i was able to breathe for a second i look over my shoulder again i see that he's not close enough to make a move so i was really happy but i was really worried uh excellent race uh, great job by the guys. Cart handled amazing. Thanks, TB Cart USA. Thanks, Jam Racing Engines again. Excellent power plant. Uh, thanks, OKC, for this event. And we beat the rain. P1, but extremely close. Ooh. Racing in the books. It was nine easy ones. Ruben podiums right now. Rubens and Chris were up my butt the whole race. We beat the rain, though. Well, we haven't loaded up yet, so. Oh man, I'm dead. Thank you guys, thank you. So, we'll see what happens. Why we'll see what happens. I don't know. I think I'm a little out of it. So, we're doing podium. Oh, rehydration. The really kill, it's a really killer cramps. Joshua here? Really killer cramps. And your winner, Carlos Zedes. Man. Well, podium in the book. Got that first place trophy. You're lucky they don't want to race you. Luckily, they want to be me. luckily Senior or Chris doesn't want to pass me for some reason. The whole race, they just sat back there. I will let Hori win. Yeah. <laughs> and then I passed you and you passed me again. Well, Deal with that. Yeah, Fernando, I, he gets a good start, and uh, I was going to end up wrecking him if he didn't let me buy. 
seriously. <laughs> oh yeah, and I was gonna push him. <laughs> Straight off into turn four. <laughs> yeah. You better pray. <laughs> all right guys, thanks for watching this video. Thanks for all the support. Don't forget to hit the subscribe, the like button. Catch you guys on track.